Oh, man, I hate Mondays. Nah, man, it's Tuesday. Wait, 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 what day is it? You know what day it is. Tuesday. Bruce Day Tuesday. Oh, fuck yeah! It's time for Bruce Day Tuesday. Brought to you by the Cellar and Six Pack Store. Here is Drez and Huck. So far, so good. Oh. Ah! Did it go? Yeah, it hit me in the arm. <laughs> It is Brews Day Tuesday, which is indeed brought to you by the Cellar Restaurant and Six Pack Store. Uh, my name is Drez, and Huck from Huck's Beer Buzz decided to join me in studio and bring me some beer and my fun little Christmas toy. Finally got here. Finally arrived. So uh, so basically, this is like a little um, a little device, a little, a little cap bottle shooter. cap shooter. Yeah, so you cock it back, and then you, um, you can pop a beer top with it, it and then there's a the magnet beer. at the top, and then you fire it. It, it didn't have as much oomph as I was kind of expecting, but also I feel like this cap might have been a little bit bigger than normal, so I don't know if that played a factor. You looking for it? Yeah. Got it. Is it a normal size cap or is it a little bit bigger? That looks normal. Okay, well. Yeah. Here, let me just, we'll just do a little test. Oh, you're going to try and shoot it at me? Oh. Yeah. Oh, this works that's better. That's got a little velocity to I'm it. I'm calling Boshi. <laughs> well, we you, can trade. You can have the you best s- one. You said that you had never shot it before. but right, that's now, the first shot. All right, well, let me. Maybe, right. you, maybe it didn't seat well or something. Let me try it again. Put my eye out to what you're going to do. Oh. oh, that one worked better. Chest shot there. Okay, it is Bruce Day we'll Tuesday, and uh, Huck and I are, I guess we're just kind of getting back to the basics. You just went to the store and grabbed yeah, some beer. Like, well, you know, for today's show, I was like, let's drink some stuff we've never drank. Not just beers we haven't drank, but styles, styles. of beers we have Which not is surprising. Drank. You think, I mean, uh, this is our fourth year on the show. I and we feel like we've had them all, but maybe uh, no. I mean, we can step outside the box a little bit. You handed me a bottle of um, Brute IPA, which is a dry sparkling IPA, Indian Pale Ale, if you will, from, uh, is it, you pronounce it Oma Gang? Uh, yeah, Oma Gang. Oma Gang, which is out of uh, Cooperstown, New York. You might recognize that. What's what's their famous beer? Like, I know their logo. It's something blue. Yeah, they got a bunch of good beers, but um, I'm trying to think. Yeah, it's like they did the Gang of Thrones beers, all those. The Gang of Thrones? A Game of Thrones. I was going to say. Is, gang uh, of uh, Gang. So that sounds like Gamey a pretty gang. fun name for a beer. The Gang of Thrones. They did a bunch. So this is the Two Roads Dry and Mighty, and it's a dry and refined fruit IPA. And uh, so what it is, is brewed, it's what they use to make stouts dry. It's, uh, I had to put my real glasses on. <laughs> it's uh, called, a- well, it's, I'm going to say it wrong, but it's funny because it's like the first part is Amy. I'm sure it's Amalog, but Amy Log Glucidase. And what it does, it, it pulls the sugars out. So a normal IPA, you get, you know, your hops, you get your malt, and usually you get, on a, especially on a double IPA, is you're getting that whole re- residual sugars. Mm-hmm. Well, they're gone. So this is dry, and it really is. But I still get the bitterness in the back. I'm still smelling the hops. So, of course, when I think of Brute, I think of champagne. Right. Basically the same thing they use for champagne, I think. So is this going to taste like a champagne beer, it's, but better than the champagne of beers? It's going to be the mouthfeel of champagne but the taste of beer. Well, I did notice the head on this is just Yeah, you got a ridiculous. lot of head. Ridiculous. Mine was not like that. And you know, you know whenever you pour a beer, you know, you get the the carbonation, you see the little bubbles floating up. This might be a little bit more than normal, like champagne-esque, but I don't know, it's hard to tell. Like, man, the head's just ridiculous. Maybe it I is. poured it too heavy, I don't know. I don't know, it's pretty big on that. Mine did not come out like that. But yeah, I really get this dry dryness to this. Definitely beer. dry. There's no yeah. question about it, and it it almost seems oxymoronic to be like, oh, it's a dry beer because obviously it's a liquid. But when you, uh, how would you describe the the attribute of a dry beer? Like, what exactly it is drinks makes it, it dry? makes your mouth dry? dry. <laughs> no, it makes your mouth feel like it's not getting quenched. There you go. You know, it's just you're not getting it. But I mean. You know, this is just another example of taking something good and messing with it. You know, <laughs> I think just you're right. Just give me a double IPA. You know, but I mean, it's okay. It does. It does not suck. Um, as far as ABV goes, my Oma Gang over here, their dry brute is coming in at six point three. So at least that's decent. Yeah, and this know? is six eight, almost a Huck session. 
It's got a cool looking oxen or something on it. And where yeah. was that one from again? Two Roads. Two Roads. Yeah, and they're out of uh, Stafford, Connecticut, according to my information. A little Connecticut beer. A little Connecticut beer. It's another one of those states I don't think I've ever been to. I know we were talking about, uh, we were talking Maine not too long ago. Don't think I've ever been to Connecticut. When we were going to. Is there any good reason to go to Connecticut? No. <laughs> uh, my, well, my, my dad sold sailboats and the Alcourt Sailboat Company was there. We stopped there once. And then Liz and I were going to the beer convention in, in Boston and we pulled off in Connecticut and checked. I can't remember. It's like um, something pig brewery and it's pretty good, but we'd heard about it and went to the tavern and had some beers because we wanted to taste some Connecticut beer. We hit every state on maybe not Rhode Island, but it's not really a state. That's more like a township, I think. Yeah. I, it's well, so small. Hmm. Yeah, I mean, well, they got to have beer, though, right? Yeah, they probably do. And of the uh, the drunken clam, you know, hit yeah. that up. What's the what's the <laughs> what's the other beer from Family Guy? With the, <laughs> oh, I don't know, Nantucket Brewery or something like yeah, that. Yeah, Nantucket. Is he in Rhode Island? I didn't realize. Yeah, that's where that sh- go hit, hit up Spooner Street, Quahog, Rhode Island. Uh, Qua- Co- in it Quahog or is it Co- Quahog? Quahog, okay. Quahog. I've been for saying sure. that wrong for years. Yeah, apparently. Mm. But uh, yeah, I, well, I don't know how. We might as well untap these bad boys. What do you um, mean by untapped, Tris? Oh, I'm glad you asked, Huck. <laughs> untapped is a free beer app. You can get it to your uh, cellular telephone device if it is an intelligent cellular telephone device, i.e. a smartphone. Operator. Then, um, <clears throat> then you can download it to your Android or iPhone, <clears throat> and you can drink beers and burp into the radio. There you go. Yeah, it's pretty sweet. Uh, but no, nah, it is a good way to just kind of keep track of your beers and stuff. Uh, you can check in places, see what APVs are, see what your friends think of them. And by the way, if you want to be my friend on Untapped, you can certainly do so. Hit me up. Drez Drinks is my handle. Hugs Beer Buzz is his. You uh, can rate your beers on a scale of 0.25 up to 5. How you liking your brute IPA, Huck? Well, you know, on that scale of 0.25 to 5. Mm, let me take one more big old swig. I was say, we both went for the swig at the same time, which is obviously awesome radio. Well, you thought I was going to talk. So, um... I'm think, I'm gonna give this. This is my first brewed IPA, so I don't want. I can't give it like a one or a five. You got to go in the middle somewhere. But it's not bad. It's different. It's growing on me as I drink through it. So I'm gonna give it a four. Okay. I I want to say I have had a brewed IPA before. I don't know. Maybe you're right. I'm pretty sure have I have had, not. Have we had a brute something else? I don't know. Because I, I remember talking about the whole brute thing. But either way. Um, we need to make a list of every beer we drink somewhere. If only there was an app yeah. that would maybe but keep we track it, of them all. We need it to tell us it was on the show. Yeah. Maybe we can get them to do that. Either way, um, I, I'm i not a fan of this. Just You're give not. me a normal. Like you said, it's messing with something good. Like this, it tastes. Yeah, it does. It's It doesn't taste like an IPA to me. Yeah, it's not enough, not enough hoppiness at all. I am. I'm getting the end bitterness, but I'm not. It's like the hop. It took out also the like the hop syrup. I will say. I, I will say it is starting. To, it is getting a little bit better as it goes. That last sip was better than the first one. Yeah, my last. That one first was sip, too. I was like, ugh. But still, I'm not. I'm not sold. So I'm gonna give the uh, Alma Gang's Brewed IPA. Honestly, it might just be like a three. Whoa. Yeah. I mean, this is. I'm not wowed by this by any means. Um. Well, you know, I'm a I'm a score whore anyway. Yeah. Well, so I don't know. So four for me is not like a really high score. Not amazing. Um. Yeah. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not into the whole brute thing. Yeah. But there you go. Well, you can try this one we during the break and uh, see what you think. Are we switching it up? Is there a? a oh yeah, we're going somewhere. Okay. We're going to a completely different place next segment. Okay. Good. Not you even got... the same. All right. Then let's do this. Let's play a tune, and uh, I'll try your beer. You'll try mine, and then we'll come back and. Try something else. There you go. We'll go a different direction. All right. Bruce Day Tuesday continues after this. Stick around.